Good morning. I'm Ed Ford, the Associate Pastor of Central Baptist Church in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. And you've joined me this morning for day 32 of our Praying with Jesus 40 Days Toward Church Revitalization. The first 11 verses of the book of Acts, the author Luke says this, In the first book, O Theophilus, talking about the Gospel of Luke, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day he was taken up, after he had given commands through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you heard from me, for John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And Jesus said to them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And when he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up in a cloud, took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Did you notice the word witnesses in that well-known verse, Acts 1-8? It's from the Greek word martus, M-A-R-T-U-S. It's the root word from which we get our English word martyr, M-A-R-T-Y-R. We usually associate a martyr with someone who has had their life taken by enemies of the gospel because of their faithful witness to Jesus. The centuries are littered with the deaths of believers who have been drowned, burned at the stake, beheaded, crucified, shot, stabbed, run over, starved, fed to various animals, and any other number of cruel death sentences. Paul describes well the kind of witnesses Jesus intended his first century and 21st century's disciples to be. In Philippians 1.21, Paul said, For me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Whether we live or die is up to the Lord. What it is up to us is this. Will I be a faithful witness today for Jesus? It is an irreplaceable kingdom priority for you and me and for each member of our church, for your church. I'm going to lead us in prayer. And I encourage you, join me. Maybe you want to echo my words after me or say a similar prayer of your own. Join me in prayer, would you? Lord Jesus, make me a faithful witness of your grace in every and any situation. Open my mouth to declare boldly the truth of the gospel and give me the words that need to be spoken in every conversation. Ignite our church family with your Holy Spirit to be your witnesses everywhere we go and in every relationship we have. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.